Welcome, Bea. How are you? Nice to see you again. Uh, how are you feeling that finally in few days you will be representing the country in the most prestigious beauty pageant in the UK? Since the day I won, I've prepared myself, I've conditioned myself uh, for the competition ahead. When I joined Miss Universe Philippines, I wasn't just preparing myself for the local competition, I've also been preparing myself for what comes after that. And honestly, I'm very much um, grateful that everyone is helping me in elevating me and becoming a better version of myself. I am grateful that despite my weaknesses, no one has really highlighted that. Rather, they've recognized my strength, my strengths rather, and they made me believe in myself when I couldn't. Okay, uh, just for uh, many personal lang to, no? uh, Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. Okay. As a devoted Catholic, uh, what biblical or historical, given a chance to visit a biblical or historical place in Israel, what would you choose among um, these uh, places? The Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus uh, gathered her apostles and prayed. I'm going to take a deep breath. Would you like to drink some water? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. number two, Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus, and Mount Calvary or Golgotha, where Jesus was crucified. Of course, the Miss Universe competition will be held in December, just a few days before Christmas. So I would really love to see the land where Jesus was born, and that would be Bethlehem. Thank you very much. Thank and you. Thank you so much. Mr. Ethan Conception, with his ties. A barong. Yeah. Go ahead. And this barong time is a barong. Yes. It's a lovely one. Full barong talaga siya with crystals. <laughs> Ganun ba naka favorite? I know. The tie last time was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much for your appreciation for that uh, Queen Varian. Uh, I myself uh, is a member of LGBTQIA plus community, so I'm curious about your answer for my two prepared questions. First question, Queen Vera. How do you intend to convey your platform and aspiration for acceptance, inclusivity, and equality at the Miss Universe stage? First of all, I'm very grateful that the organization has welcomed me. The Miss Universe Philippines organization has welcomed me and accepted me for who I am. They've been very inclusive and diverse in the candidates. And I am grateful to all of the Filipinos for allowing an LGBTQIA plus member to represent our country. It definitely is a breakthrough. And I hope that the rest of the world, all the other countries, that still has doubts to the LGBTQIA plus community will learn from that. And to know that we are just here trying to represent our community and that it would the world would be a lovely place if everyone is embraced as who they are. Wow. <laughs> My last question, Bea. From the scale of one to ten, how would you rate your winnability for the crown at this time of your arrival in Israel? From a rate of 1 to 10, I would have to rate myself a 7 because first I have to, the three points, I have to go to Tel Aviv and then to Jerusalem and then the Eilat and in Eilat where the competition will be held that would have to complete the 10 points. I think that's the only thing that's lacking for me to get there up on stage, perform my best, and win the crown. Congratulations in advance. You always answer on point and, and exact. Good Thank luck. you. Good Thank you so much. Thank you. And now, Christian for the crown. 
Hi, Amy. Uh, congratulations in advance from the Crown Philippines. This is Christian. Hi, Christian. Good afternoon. So, yeah, um, this year, uh, the Miss Universe organization is celebrate, will be holding their 17th edition. And traditionally, 70 years would mean platinum anniversary and celebration. And it normally symbolizes strength, rarity, and purity of true love. So among those qualities, what do you think uh, is the one that best describes you as well? I myself consider, uh, I consider myself as a rarity and I think that is one thing that I should be celebrating and going there. I am rare because first and foremost, I represent a modern Filipina. I am a multifaceted woman. I've broken stereotypes. I've broken through everything that has been set in the standards of pageantry. And I think that's something that I would love to celebrate in the 70th year of Miss Universe. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Also, Priya, so what do you think are the traits of Filipinos and the Israelis that you think are similar that you, would make you feel comfortable when you get in this channel? Something common about us is that we are we hold a a tradition of being close towards our family, and that is something that we both all share. I've spoken to the ambassador of Israel uh, here in the Philippines, and one thing that he shared is that every week they get to gather as a family and share a meal all together. And I think as Filipinos, we all know that. We sell, uh, we value our family so much, and I think that's something that we share in common. And I would love to talk about it with my um, other co-candidates when I get there very soon. Thank you, Bea. Congratulations again. For Thank, the you. Thank you. Thank you, Brown. mga tao Next question. Alam kung hindi ka pa umiiyak. I know you're excited and dying. Huh? I'm going to cry again. I'm going to cry again. Are you going to cry again? Sorry, sorry. Hi, Bea. Good afternoon. Hi, Bea. Nice to see you again. Don't cry. Hey, Adam G. Hi, Bea. How are you? I would just like to ask. Um, I know you've just been crowned like two months ago. And after that, you've been leading a very frantic and hectic schedule. And as we all know, you know, social media can be quite distracting and provide so much unnecessary noise to your candidacy. So I wonder, what keeps you sane? What are you doing? What are you doing? Take a deep breath. Well, that's easy for me to answer. I focus on the people that matter really most. Uh, I know the ones that really support me. And I know that the rest of the people who have comments about my performances, about my appearances, the way I look, uh, what I do, they don't really know what's going on inside um, the, the preparations. And I know how hard I've worked. I know my core, and that's how I'm able to stay sane and keep my mental health at bay. And of course, I try to avoid um, social media as much as I can, even though it's uh, it's part of my work. Uh, it's healthy to stay away from it from time to time. So that's nice. So, because it's yung calmness, matagal whether you answer your Q and A, whether you do all you do all these public appearances, talagang where do you draw that strength from? Your calmness, more your mental fortitude, even your reaction. So anyway, you seem to be different from uh, your predecessors, talaga, in terms of how you are handling yourself for your journey here in this universe. So, well, I won't deny. Um, all of the performers know this. Uh, not just beauty queens, but every every performer, like I mentioned, they get the nerves. It can't be helped, but once you know um, where your strength is coming from, from me, I, I, it comes from preparedness and knowing that there are people who believe in me. That's how I stay calm. And of course, 
uh, one trick that I've, I've shared this once in one of the interviews. This helps me, but I, I try to have an <laughs> characterize an alter ego where I forget the, the fearful side of me and I characterize a person who is strong and who is a warrior. Uh, Beatrice is the is the parang feminine one, the, the calm one. Luigi is the warrior. So when I come up on stage, I am Luigi. Wow. 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 Congratulations to your fans. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Luigi. <laughs> Next question. And it's also known as Luigi. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Isa siya sa mga basher na. Certified. Are you Mama Chodas? <laughs> Hello, Beatrice. Hi. Are Beatrice Luigi Gomez and you are? <laughs> I on. am Beatrice Luigi Gomez. You are 2.0. <laughs> 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 and you're rich. Oh, sorry. 2021. Anyway, ano, like question lang, Beatrice. <laughs> yes. If you, um, if given a chance, who would you choose as uh, your roommate? <laughs> Oh, I already mentioned this to some of the people who asked me that uh, I would really love to be roommates with Miss Japan because I love the country so much and I'm sure that we have a lot of things to talk about and I also want to know more about Japan from her. So she would be the girl I would love to be roommates with. Thank you. And uh, aside from know when to pick, what was the one of the best pieces of advice that uh, you got from our national director, Miss Shamsi Susu? There's actually a lot of advice that I learned from her, but I think the one that really, uh, the one that I valued the most was she told me to focus on the things that really matters. Um, I know that OOTDs, they matter a lot, and, and some girls, they get distracted from posting social, on social media their OOTDs, but it's not really judged as much and of course I know that the designers they work really hard and they deserve the the what do you call this they deserve the the recognition from being posted online but what really matters is your performance on the night of, on the stage so it's very important to conserve your energy and save it on the last day on the coronation night and that's what counts. All right. Thank you so much and good luck. Thank uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. For you. <laughs> of course. Why did you become such a boss? Because you didn't have to say it. And next is Thank Mr. Miss Kim Edward Sancha. A very colorful Kim Sancha. For her, it very colorful. I love your outfit. And I love your mask. Thank you. So. Uh, my first question is, let's put this on the other way around. So normally, so since you are representing the Philippines, you are required to represent beautifully the Philippines in the universe. So how are you going to represent Israel to the Philippines? One thing that I can relate to an Israeli woman is that they get to have all these, um, they have this mandatory military service which I was fortunate enough to experience as a Marine Corps service and as a woman of strength that's how I will represent Israel to them they don't um, they empower their women and that's how I would represent Israel to the rest of the world as an empowered woman where well was that I have one more question <laughs> go, go ahead Okay, so what is uh, the one thing advice that the creative director Jonas Gaffin told you that you can apply universally in the Miss Universe? One advice that Mama Jonas told me is that to study all the time. I mean, you know what you're capable of, but you shouldn't be complacent, you shouldn't be relaxed. It's very important to always be prepared because that's what takes the anxiety away, that's what takes the fear away, knowing that you are prepared and you're always ready for battle. So it's very important to prepare 
even when you know that you are capable of doing it already. Thank you. I know my questions are very hard, but you did very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher team. At this point, we'd also like to acknowledge at the back. Hi, Bea. Nice to see you again. So, kunyari na ka Israel na tayo, okay? We all know that the preliminary interview is such an important part of the pageant. Kasi dun pa lang, the judges already made their opinion and based on that, they choose the, the semi-finals. What kind of a Bea do you want to show the judges, given that you only have four minutes? I think like six or eight questions. Sabi ni Jonas and Shamsi, you know, you're you're being quiet and more reserved. They feel it's your strength. They're not going to try to make you bubblier than what you normally are. But what kind of a Bea are you planning to show the prelim interview, post-door interview? There's no other kind of Bea. I am, there's only one Bea, and that Bea is compassionate, and she is very much dedicated to her work. She is disciplined, and I want them to, to know that, that she can be an ambassador of all the things that they represent, uh, which is this year they are celebrating, or rather um, highlighting talks about how to protect the environment and actions on climate change. If they need a person to do that, to influence other people, that would have to be me, because I can influence other people through my strength and through my dedication and through my passion, because I am passionate for charity, for love, and for service. That's the kind of way I want to show them. One last question. Um, given that we are sort of coming out of the pandemic and it has affected women in different ways, what do you think is the most important issue that needs to be addressed uh, if to women, to be able to help women come out of this pandemic in a successful way? Well, a lot of women have been limited since the pandemic happened. Uh, they, they were less protected when it comes to violence against women. I myself have helped um, institutions that protect these women. And this is one issue that I would like to highlight, that there are women who are suffering during the pandemic and I want them to speak out and to spread aware to all who are listening here today. I want them to also uh, be aware that there are women who are suffering and that we can do something about it. All of us, men and women, should participate and fight for the rights of women and their protection against violence. Thank you. Thank you, Diane. Mr. Jerry Diaz. You can also give your like, message to her. Yeah. Um, Hi, Tito Jerry. I have one question first. Um, if the press asks you in Israel, what do you think are the factors that make the Philippines very successful, not just in Miss Universe, but in other international pageants as well? The Philippines is known to be a powerhouse of beauty queens, but what they do not know is that there are a lot of people who work really hard. It is a collaborative effort that makes a beauty queen. She won't be successful without the help of her team. And I am fortunate that I am guided and strengthened by my team, the Miss Universe Philippines organization, the Aces and Queens, my origins family from Cebu. It's very important that the queen is grateful and kind and compassionate because that that is what makes a Filipino beauty queen stand out in international pageants. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Do you have a message for Bea? Yeah. Okay. Um, Bea, I just would like to express my excitement over the prospects of you joining this universe in Israel. From the very first time we saw you, uh, in screening in Gateway, uh, I said it to some of my friends, that one thing you had that the other girls there did not, you had star quality. Because the moment she entered, straight from the airport, everybody just looked at her, and not just with her height, 
But there's something in her, her personality, her appeal, that just draws the attention to her. But one thing I like about you, aside from, even if you were confident, you were never overconfident. And that is something that we like about you. Your voice, your composure, and I like especially that moment when you were announced as the winner. And you were just so cool, but I, I was asking myself, did she realize that she already won? And I think it's very nice because we saw some of the Miss Universe top two, uh, last two women standing, that practically they just have to think because of excitement. And I hope that you carry the confidence, the voice, and the composure in Miss Universe. I'm sure you'll make a very good impression, and you will get another crown to this. Thank you, Peter Jerry. Thank you, Peter Jerry. Are there any other questions? Celso Caparas, who was there at the first ever Miss Universe. <laughs> 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 1970. Hi, Bea. Hi. Uh, unknown to many, you were involved in a novel cause called Bayong Sara. Can you please enlighten us on this? And uh, are you will be uh, will you be involved again this year? So Bayang Sela is a product of the Persons Deprived of Liberty in the BJMP Cebu City Jail. It's something that I did for them last Christmas because of the pandemic. Um, the Persons Deprived of Liberty weren't able to receive much income from their livelihood project. So what I did is I. I got all their products. I sold it outside because they couldn't sell it due to the restrictions. And the sales of those Bayong Celia bags, uh, I gave it back to them. And the profits, I donated it to a shelter for the elderly. Uh, this is a humbling experience for me because I had to do the delivery myself. I went to the jail. I waited outside the jail to get their products. And I wrote Habal Habal and <laughs> delivered it in my hometown in the province Cebu. This is a very humbling experience and it's something that I want people to learn from that in your small actions you will already be able to change lives and help other people, even the persons deprived of liberty. They deserve opportunities as well. And that's also one reason that I dedicate so much of my my works for the children in conflict with the law. Because these children, we consider them as no sons in the society, but of course these children, they still so they still have so much in their future, and we just have to guide them and give them opportunities as well. Why do you believe beauty pageants are relevant even during pandemic? Well, I myself uh, became a pageant fan of the Miss Universe Philippines. In the first edition of Miss Universe Philippines, I had friends who joined the competition last year. Uh, it was in the height of the pandemic. And to me, it gave me so much inspiration to see these women representing their people, their community, their themselves, despite the challenges that they've been through. This only shows that we are able to rise above challenges and win and celebrate and overcome every challenge that we are going through. And as we can see right now, we've been through so much already, but we continue to celebrate. And I think that is what pageants are all about, to celebrate in, in times of hardships, we can always still win. Lastly, lastly. Uh, what is your message to the men and women behind Miss Universe Philippines organization, Aces and Queens, and Team Cebu? You know, I'd like to, to share uh, a little bit of, of a backstory before I decided to join a national competition. The first reason I didn't want to join, or I was hesitant to join, was because I was so scared to be based here in Manila because I didn't know anyone. I, if ever I will be encountering challenges, I didn't know who to run to. But when I got here, I was very blessed 
that I was received and welcomed by my Aces and Queens family and when I won the competition of Miss Universe Philippines or even before, even during the competition, the Miss Universe Philippines organization took care of us despite we've been through so many challenges during that competition, during our journey. It was it was not easy. But because everyone was there, my team from Cebu, from Aces and Queens and the Miss Universe Philippines organization, because all of them were there, I am here now standing and I am more than ever ready to represent the Philippines this coming December twelfth in Ilag, Israel. Thank you so much. Hi, Bea, please. Hi. Uh, finally, it's good to finally meet you in person. You na mention mo, si Luigi ang lalabas sa Miss Universe stage. It's actually both Beatrice and Luigi. Can you show us kung paano lalabas si Beatrice Luigi? Paano? Sino? Ganon. Pwede mo ipakita sa amin ngayon? Parang may teaser kami ng konti. Grabe kong dobe kara. Oo. Kasi masyadong proven proper ang pagsasalita mo at lahat. Paano lalabas yung empowered woman na si Beatrice Luigi sa stage sa area? Well, my calmness and being proven proper, that's Beatrice. But when you see my walk, my poses, and my projection, that's Luigi. Teaser na ba? Teaser. Am I allowed to Mama Jane? Mama Jane. Hi, Mama Jane. Sa Mama Jane ang pagdademo. Mama Jane. Mama Chona, would you like to come? Well, I would just give you a sample na lang of my introduction because my walk and my outfits will have to be a surprise yes. in Elas. So. Ayan guys, so we have to wait for that. Now, personally, I'm very okay. curious and I'm sure I'm having fans and followers of yours also. Um, and by the way, I'm Tristan Francisco from the Philippine Project. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, nga, hindi. Kasi so, anong meaning ng tattoo mo sa arm? Oh, this one. Uh, it's oh, not this one. Please <laughs> <laughs> say, also have another one. Yes, yes, that's my second question. This one. Okay. Um, this is actually an armband. Uh, they say an armband represents death. Uh, and cherry blossoms, the, the print on it is a cherry blossom. They say it represents um, rebirth or new beginnings. To me, my tattoo means that um, because I had this on my 23rd birthday. To me, it means that I'm I'm done being a girl and I blossomed into being a woman. So the death of a girl and then the blossoming of a new woman. So Sako Sakura Sakura Hime, right? Yes. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a cherry blossom princess into becoming a woman. Yes. And now do your latest tattoo that we've seen online that. Well, that would have to be a secret. Uh, it's a chica na lang very soon. Ay, kanin, okay. Lanat kaya lang yung very soon. Um, let's focus on the more important topics. Oh, wow. Ganito, Tristan, ganito na lang. Jonas, Albert, and I will also get the same tattoo. Oh. Because we're no longer girls. We're now women. Too. <laughs> so, so that's... Pero I think uh, the whole Philippines, the, the pageant fans, and even the DPP International wishes you the best of luck. May the power of Wonder Woman <laughs> be inside you in Elia and show us the at least Luigi, the Miss Universe 2021. Thank you. Thank you. And I think lastly, I, maybe we'd like to get a message from Sven from origin who originated a message ladies and gentlemen let's give a hand to Sven good, af good afternoon everyone um, I, would, I would like also to thank uh, Missionaries Philippines for inviting us to be here we're really grateful um, to Bea, thank you for um, believing in me when I called you. And when the time that Miss Universe Living emailed me regarding asking if I can still send a candidate. So thank you for yeah, believing. 
Thank you for everything. Thank you for representing Cebu and Philippines. Okay, can I respond to this? Because, you know, I, I, as I mentioned earlier, I never had plans in joining the national pageant, but when Swen called, because he is the accredited partner of Cebu City uh, for Miss Universe Philippines, he was able to convince me that I have so much potential in the national pageant. I didn't see that in myself, but he was able to see that, and if not because of him, I wouldn't be here. So thank you so much, Swen. Thank you, Swen. We'd also like to acknowledge the K-pop star that just arrived, Mr. Sam Versosa, the front row. Where, there, there he is. Hi, Sir Sam. Good afternoon. The Welcome. gay papi. <laughs> now, we also have a special message from your sister, Maureen Robowitz, on screen. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry that I was... Hi, Luigi. It's now. I'm so, so sorry that I wasn't able to make it because I'm out of shoot right now. But I just want to say that I'm so, so proud of you. I have seen you grow and I am so glad and so happy that we were able to train together with ACES and I have really seen your growth and I know that you can ace this and that you will do amazing. I just, I'm just so happy that you were able to get out of your shell and that I see you shine every single day. So I'm so proud of you and I will see you tomorrow. So. That's so sweet of Mao Mao and Miss Her. Yes, my queen. <laughs> You're tweeting. Can you not tell? No. So at this point, we'd, we'd like to thank everybody for being here. Unless we have a When is she leaving? When is she leaving? When she goes on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> You're so soft. <laughs> I'm alone. November 27. Okay. We're all leaving on the, no on, on the November 27. Mm -hmm. Next week. Huh? Yeah, next week. Pwede ba ng ano? Huh? Pwede ba cover sa airport? I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Yeah, I mean, ano? <laughs> yes, I, guess. I, I have a single token lang for the Last time kasi I came out, uh, new, new type, new personalized. Personalized type. So yes. this one, you have a version. <laughs> Oh, we were looking for a tie for my outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And now we would... Diane? Do you have any... Did, did... Bea! Bea trees! May I invite Mr. R.S. Francisco and Summer Sosa up on stage for a photo op with our queen from the front row family. <laughs> Something in the middle. Ano oras? After Miss World, ano? After Miss World. And next week, can I ask Joanne and Joey, please get ready for your photo op, diba? Para wedding. Also, by the way, if you, if you guys forgot, Joanne Gomez, she was also a judge. 
So, what's the question again about what happened? Oh, it's for Joanne knows everything. Hello. Okay, one on one. Until now. Until now. I see something. No. Yes. Are you guys good? Thank you.